what is your name and what is this that we're doing here? Well, the name that I am acquiring is Gato Fado, basically because Gary Spampanato is just a tad too lengthy and wrong. So I decided to go with that one. So it's Gato Fado. And um, what we're doing here today is we are giving all of my fashions from my last fashion show one last chance because the video that they were on did not do them any justice. And they deserve one last chance before they're gone forever. Um, reason being is because I only like to make one thing. I, I only like to make things that are originals. I don't like to ever replicate them so that they'll be one of a kind forever. Um, How'd you get into this? I got into this when I was very, very young. I was about five years old. I used to put on shows with all of my stuffed animals and make costumes for them and clothes. And was thought of as a very, a very strange boy, but thank God I did it, or else I would not be here today. And I, when the rave scene started here back in 1990, I started making hats again and um, it went from hats and then I started to make myself some outfits and then I started to make my girlfriend some outfits and then I started to put on shows and here we are today. Does the custom start from a detail or it's like a general idea that you want to look like? Or? What I normally start from is I normally start from a persona that I want to give or a character I want the person to portray. I don't, and even sometimes a costume can be inspired by a wig, it can be inspired by a pair of shoes, it can be inspired by just a print, some fabric. I normally work up from one building block and, um, and go from there. And what else? What do you see happening in the next five years? In the next five years? Well, I pray that well, for one thing, I definitely want to go back to school and, and finally learn, get into all the classes that I, I need to get into. I want to move to New York and try to get someone to buy my stuff. And I would, my dream is to see my fashions on everyone in the club scene in New York. How is your passion being on? received so far here in Greensboro? So far here in Greensboro it's received very well. Um, there isn't much of a market, but I've, I've been doing this for years now and finally it's beginning to catch on. I've been, I've been dressing up for raves, but now that we have Babylon and we all work here as club freaks, um, it's caught on a lot faster because people come on a weekly basis. We're here every Friday as the go-go freaks and um, people, I've gotten a lot more orders and stuff but hopefully one day Greensboro will be hip enough for all this. It hasn't quite happened yet though. So. so where are you from? I'm originally from Long Island, New York. That's where I grew up. I moved down here when I was I think 17. So I'm 21 now. And um, I'm very glad that I moved down here, because if I would have stayed in New York, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. Well, we'll let you get back to your models. Thank you so much for the short interview. Enjoy.